Him Duncan. <laughs> him Duncan, Hemi Neutron, him from The Office. Everybody's, it's all over the place, man. I mean, this Him is, Biden. Doesn't, that yeah, doesn't work. It doesn't <laughs> rhyme. Himothy Trump. <laughs> you don't think you get how they like are setting them up. It's like supposed to be like, it's a, it's for Tim or Jim. Him Grover Ra- Washington Jr. <laughs> That's just adding it to the beginning of a whole other person's name. Like, here's an example, okay? Himter Griffin from Family Guy. <laughs> just let me lug it, help you out a little bit. Okay. For instance, you could do Himmy Fallon. Like, that's like one because it's Jimmy Fallon to Himmy Fallon. Or like Him Kardashian. Like Kim Kardashian. They, they rhyme. The first names rhyme. Okay. So that's how you would do one. So, like. Um, him plant. <laughs> Is that like Robert Plant? Yeah, like Robert Plant, man. The GOAT. This is one of the best frontmen of all time. <laughs> yeah. He just, was him, low key, dude. Him Kardashian does have him plants, but that doesn't really like, like Himothy Chalamet. There's one that people do. Because it's like Timothy Chalamet <laughs> to Himothy Chalamet. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, Try one more. Okay. Yeah. Do you get it yet? Um oh, Himmeldlish Gambino. <laughs> <laughs> Himmeldlish. Like, he, it's like childish, but it's Himmeldlish. Can we move on? It's 10 to 5, right? Popification of drill really is something. I'm here for it. You're here for it? Yeah. You like it? Absolutely. They should popify everything. Really? Market it. Sell it. Package it up. Give it to the masses. Shoegaze. Shoegaze. Package it up. Little box. Mail it. Next day shipping. Yours forever. Subgenre. Now it's popular. Huge. Everyone's got it. Black metal. Boom. Little box. <laughs> Shrink wrap. Mail. Instantly there. Bypass the U.S. Postal Service. Get your own delivery drivers. Massive employment. No union. Make them work. A lot. See, I was following the analogy for a second, yeah. but it seems like you think these genres are physical items. Like, <laughs> no. You're real. Oh, no. Okay. It's music. It's a genre. I get it. Okay. Give me another example. Bossa Nova. Raw. Right out of the ground. <laughs> Clean it off. Dice it up. Little bits. Tiny boxes, like a ring box. <laughs> Boom. Packing peanuts. Bigger box. Shipping tape. <laughs> Postage stamp. Trucks. Planes. Boats. Whatever it takes. <laughs> Packages just flying on porches. Boom, boom, bang, bang, bang. You go out in the morning, get it. Oh, hey, neighbor, what'd you get? Bossa, yeah, me too. All over, global. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just trying to make this country more money. I got you, yeah. <laughs> she come over to my space and we took a Napster. <laughs> That's stupid. I found her G Spotify. <laughs> she iTunes when I listen. What? <laughs> I don't know. Why are you saying what to me? I didn't say it. You said it, not me. What the hell's going on, man? She bear share on my ball sack. What? what? <laughs> I'm so what I'm mean? confused. What are you even? Why are you confused the moment you say it? You're looking at me like I said it. Like, she it? pirate bay when I choke her. What the? Heck? Dude, what? You got? Oh, what? Man, if the president can text everyone, why won't he text me back? I don't, I don't know. He can text everyone whenever he wants, and I can't get a fucking message back. It just seems crazy, doesn't it? No, it's like a dumb thought. Really? He has a machine that he can text everyone on. And I, he can't text me, what's up, dude? Because he just texts, like, we're in trouble. If people don't get out to vote for the midterms or whatever, you know, yeah. that's the stuff he texts. And he's not good at texting, he's old as hell. Who's baby Gronk? <laughs> who's, who's baby Gronk? Livy Dunn, raised up by Astro Speed. <laughs> good for speed, he finally met Ronaldo. That's huge moment in Twitch history. He did the suey with, with Ronaldo. Honestly, one of the best character arcs ever. XQC shouldn't have to apologize. He's got more money than Jesus Christ. <laughs> Holy shit, Mr. Beast could have been on that submarine. <laughs> wow, he was actually invited. Now, wait a minute. If Mr. Beast was invited on the submarine, why is the text blue? Blue is for the outgoing text, not the incoming. And now Curtis Connor says he was invited on the actual Titanic. That's just funny. He seems like a charming guy. I'm happy for him and his wife. Is Mike still on Impulsive? Oh, meant to text that into Google. I Spice carried the Barbie soundtrack. Wait a minute. Riley from Hivemon predicted the Ice Spice remix, Ice Spice Baby, with Tyga. Shouldn't he get royalties for that? I feel like he should get at least a songwriting credit on Spotify. Would you guys watch someone fight a bear if it was a really bad person? Oh, especially if it was a bad person, yeah. Okay, would you watch someone fight a bear? Yes. Are you talking about in real life or on TV? In real life. In real life, yes. 
Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And by fight, I mean, obviously, like... I don't think it matters if it's a good or bad person. I want them to be strong and vigilant. And oh. on crack. Because I feel like then okay. there's a shot, you know? Maybe. And they have, like, a metal pipe maybe this big. Mm, no, that kills it for me. <laughs> Nothing? No, I want No one's to... going to win barehanded. Oh, I mean, that's hilarious. I love it. I mean, pause. Okay, for a second. What's gay about fighting a bear? <laughs> Nothing, just bear paws, hands. Oh, paws, got it, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yo. (laughs) Hey, yo. (laughs) Hey, yo, chill. (laughs) Bear paws. I mean, that's so sus to fight a bear. But uh, it's just more about the metal pipe part, like, takes it out of reality for me because I want to picture that this is, like, ancient times. Oh, yeah. I want it to be, like, a what caveman. If, what if you gave him symbols and <laughs> he could crack it over the, <laughs> crack it over his head? Yeah, he won me back with slapstick comedy. I yeah. mean, a metal pipe. I'm like, all right, this is like an action movie or some Give shit. Give him a cake and some symbols. <laughs> 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 he gets on top of it. <laughs> yeah, he tweaks its nose. <laughs> the bear's embarrassed. That's really <laughs> you embarrassed him. You know, I piped a bear one time. Chill, France. Hey yo, <laughs> it was a oh, European it's... vacation. <laughs> I was off poppers. What is poppers? You don't know what? You don't know what poppers are? I don't know what poppers are. It's a head rush. <laughs> a lot of gay people use it because it loosens your asshole. Sorry. It's a gay sex drug. Uh, but but it's, other people can do it too. You can do, you can do it, do it Whatever. It's kind of like a whip it thing. It's yeah. like a little huff. You go, and you go, oh, and you get a big head rush, and then your all your bowels kind of fall out. Mm-hmm. I think I'm good. You're good on it? Because we got a lot of it. You know what? I don't think hell's below us. I think it's right next to heaven up there. Oh, they're both up? I think they're neighbors. It's like one of those condominium resorts. Oh, interesting. <laughs> one's just heaven, one's hell. So heaven and hell are both up there. Then what's below? Oh, uh, it's a Buckleberries. What's a Buckleberries? You've never been to a Buckleberries? No, I've been to a Buckle, the store in the mall. No, it's like a turnpike restaurant chain. It's really fun for families. They electrocute you if you don't choose your food fast enough. <laughs> What? Buckleberries? <laughs> You've never heard of this? I've never heard of it. They electrocute you yes, if you don't pick your food fun. fast enough? It's fun. You take off your shoes like a sushi restaurant. Okay. And you put them in and they're slightly submerged in water. And sometimes a little fish will sneak up on you. What? But the water acts as a conductor for Dr. Buzz, who, who's up in the rafters. <laughs> and if you don't decide fast enough, he cranks down the lever and a lightning bolt shoots through the restaurant and <laughs> scatters all across and it hits the water and electrocutes everyone who hasn't ordered their food yet. So you can only take your shoes out of the water once you've ordered? No, they pull the drain when you order. Oh, there's no so there's water. no water. Yeah. That's super creative. You keep but... your shoes off, and it's a bit of a photo booth, too. What do you mean it's a bit of a photo booth? <laughs> and when they bring you your check at the end, in sands of a tip, you can choose that the photographer comes out. He's a little guy. He takes a little photo of your feet, and he sends it up to Dr. Buzz, who is very pleased with it. <laughs> Did you just say in sands of a tip? Yep. <laughs> okay. I think it's in lieu of a tip, but... Sans a tip, you can give okay, him a sure. foot photo. That's, yeah, I'm getting... From a little photographer. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dr. Buzz likes feet. At Buckleberry. So you don't have to tip if they take a picture of your feet, and Dr. Buzz likes it, <laughs> but does Dr. Buzz then redistribute these and sell the feet pick? No? No, Dr. Buzz doesn't have a social life. He's trapped in the rafters of Buckleberries all over the country. There used to be 44,000 of them. 44,000 Buckleberries? That's yeah. so many, I've never heard of it. Yeah, I think there's only three left now. <laughs> uh, not a very successful business. They're all in Manhattan, Kansas. That's wow. a real place. Okay. And bu- so it's Buckleberries. <laughs> I gotta check that place out, I guess. I re- uh, I don't know. If, if you didn't go when you were a child. Well, wait a minute. There's four then. Because one of them is like where you think hell would be. Right. Yeah, yeah, Okay, yeah. there's well, three in Manhattan, right. Kansas, and one down below in the great In the ether. great beneath. Yeah. Sweetie, I'd like you to meet my grandpa, newborn. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> my name's newborn. Newborn Johnson. <laughs> Newborn Johnson is a good name. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> that's yeah, like you shouldn't like, write that down and you shouldn't have pictures of it in your phone. That's like, no, but. <laughs> you were gonna get it. I didn't even think trouble. about it like that. I thought about it as like, <laughs> like you have a baby and you're like, what do you call that thing? Newborn Johnson? <laughs> no. If you got a laptop full of Newborn Johnson, you are going to jail. <laughs> For a long time, hopefully. Speaking of Melody Martinez. Have you ever had sessions with Spongebob late at night? He was in a fraternity with Spongebob. Did mm-hmm. you know that? Square pants. I was in a fraternity with, you know, oh, Blue's I can Clues. Tell. Yeah. Blue's Clues was my boy. We went through elementary school together. <laughs> is that his name? Is his name the show's name? Like, his name is Blue's Clues? I'm pretty Blue's sure his name Clu- is just Blue. Blue's Clues is his full name. <laughs> we were in, like, intermediate soccer together. My dad used to chill with his dad. Nice. And then I used to go over to his house. Super weird place. Really weird. <laughs> but anyways, you know, he was a cool guy. So at a certain point in high school, you know, me and Blue's 
schools were like, hey, like, where are we going to college? And he's like, let's go to McGill. It's in Montreal. You know? Great like, university. It's, it's, Love that. Yeah. We're like, fuck it. Let's rip it, you know? And they have like this <laughs> secret skull and bones type like fraternity oh, yeah. where it's almost like a cult. It's secret really society. Stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Motorcycle gang vibes. And, and Blue's Clues was going to be able to hook me up with an invite because his father was originally in this fucking fraternity. We're right. like, okay, let's rip it. Let's do it. So we're in this fraternity. Things are going well. But then one night, it's like this dark, stormy night. I'm in my dorm room and there's a letter that slides underneath my door. I open it up. It says McDonald's parking lot with the address 4.30 in the morning. Be there. Okay. I'm like, fuck, this is my chance. I'm going to be a part of the club. I'm down. I got my invitation. So I call Blue's Clues. I ask him, I'm like, so did you get your letter? He said, yeah, let's do it. And at this point, I started to see that Blue's Clues was getting a bit sketchy. You know, find packs of cocaine underneath the beds, okay. constant phone calls, two phones on him at all times. He was really trying to portray a certain lifestyle, but Blue's Clues came from a middle class home. Yeah. And I was like, listen, bro, you're going to get hurt. You know, you can't do this. Like, there's only a certain path in life and you could go with it. Long story short, Blue's Clues got killed then. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Because <laughs> it's a... It, it, I thought he's... Is it? No. Yeah. Uh, how'd he die? Let's let's keep going. Hello, I'm Mr. Beast, and today I'm gonna be pissing on someone's hat. <laughs> hey, old chap, let me see that cat. Oh no, what are you doing? Oh, I'm taking a whiz. What's it look like I'm doing? I had seven points. All right, I'm almost done. Here you go. Yeah. That's a crude British Mr. Beast. Ah, oh, whatever, it's Mr. Beast. Today, I'm giving away seven million quid. Whoever can eat the most beans out of this kettle. Hey, British Mr. Beast here. Last person to take their hand off this blood sausage wins 5,000 pounds. Little bit less than my other videos, but I'm out of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting cocktail weenies on bottle rockets and shooting them at old people. Watch this whistling willy go. <laughs> British Mr. Beast here, and yes, I am still out of ideas. Today we're going to be playing strip poker with the sidemen. <laughs> I'm introducing London to a little American fair. Today, I'll be doing a drive-by shooting on a double-decker bus. <laughs> Come on! Mr. Beast, back with another episode. Today, we're going to see which member of Coldplay can do the most ketamine. <laughs> I'm digging up the Queen's bones. I don't care who stands in my way. <laughs> I have more money than God. <laughs> Well, hello again, it's British Mr. Beast. Today we're dressing James Corden up like Adele and Adele up like James Corden. <laughs> Who's gonna be able to tell the difference? We'll see. It's a classic flip flop. <laughs> <laughs> he also has a speech impediment. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. Yawning's a sign that your body's not getting enough no oxygen. It's also a sign that I'm tired of your bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> really? Woo, hey, listen, you keep me honest, you know? I like working with you, man. I'll tell you what. Okay. I'm mean, always on my toes with this one. Yeah. If I ever you start know, to like... Never know what's coming next. Unpredictable. This guy over here. But God, I love it. You know? It's you know, a, if I bother you... It's a hoot. You, it's a holler. It's a know, racket. If I, if I start to bother you or something, you can just talk to oh, me. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, you do. Bother the shit out of me. <laughs> I, I don't want to be a burden. That's why I love you, you know? What? This is so confusing. I don't want to be yeah. a burden in the workplace. Terrible worker. Super annoying. But God, that's why we love you over here, right? I just wanted to be a good part of the team. We pay you way too much, honestly. We should dock that pay. But we won't, you know? Gotta make sure you're all right, you know? We care about you over here, but God, God, you're terrible at working and uh, hard to be around. Nobody likes you. But, oh, man, we, yeah, 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 yeah working with this guy, you know, I'd rather, rather, rather end my life, you know, end my shit. I'd rather end it right here. Man, but, I don't God, want you to think about Even being around him for 10 minutes, I'd rather crash my car into a wall. I'd rather burn alive than, than sit with you and have lunch once. But, God, I don't want to be Wouldn't annoying. be the same without you over here. Be better. What? <laughs> <laughs> just would. It would be better if you were not here. It would be better. Like, you, you mean here. here or you mean... Just in general, man. <laughs> oh, on this earthly plane. <laughs> I'm just busting your balls, but no, seriously, if you were not alive, the world would be a better place. So. <laughs> and that's just how it was. They didn't cry about it, you know? My grandfather survived the Holocaust. Your grandfather is in the Holocaust? Yeah, he had to dress up like a girl and uh, blend in basically throughout the entirety of it, yeah. Your grandfather slayed his way through the Holocaust? <laughs> he slayed and served? Yeah. This is a movie <laughs> in oh the ratings. Oh, <laughs> Boots Girl. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Grandpa gave the Nazis cunt in order to avoid Oh my god, <laughs> no, I don't. He served cunt to Hitler. No, dude, yeah. I don't think that's how that went. He demon dropped his way no. out of Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking sick. That, man. Nah, wow. man, that nah. wig was wigging. <laughs> Back rolls. You know what I'm saying? He was like eight. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that kills the fun real quick, doesn't it? No, he ate. I mean, yeah. oh my God. <laughs> he ate his way out of Auschwitz. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Holy shit. All right, Grant, what's the next question? Um, I do just have a little anecdote to say. You may be wondering, why did he bring the backpack all the way out there? Well, the reason for that is is uh, this was actually, you know, in the laptop part of my backpack. And when you go through TSA, you have to take your laptop out. And uh, it was sort of like congealed to my, to my laptop in that pocket. And there were a few very tr- attractive women behind me. Just a little detail. I pulled my laptop out and flying through the air this paper yeah with a drawing of Brian from Family Guy holding 100 million dollar bill falls flat on the ground they all look everybody looks <laughs> what is that it's like it's like far it's like five feet away from me now <laughs> and everybody looks and they see this this drawing of Brian from Family Guy and they all just look and uh they started laughing did anybody wow. pick it up for you no, I had to like do the walk of shame and be like, uh, uh, it was probably the, the worst moment of my life. My artwork, my artwork, no, <laughs> no. They're going to cancel me. It's because of something I said, not something I did. What? Just remember that. <laughs> <laughs> if they cancel me, it's because of something I said, bad. Something I shouldn't have said. Yeah. Not something I did. I don't get why. Because they can't catch me. That's the whole point. <laughs> oh. No one figures out what I do. Now, name something that you did that you could get canceled for if they found out about it, which they never will. Smuggling Egyptian salamanders out of El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> so illegal, you wouldn't even believe, bro. <laughs> it's unbelievably illegal. They prosecute you in the UN. <laughs> World Peace Corps. Put you on trial and you know who one of the judges is? Kim Jong-un. You think he's going to be fair? No. (laughs) He's like the Simon Cowell of the UN. That's what we call him. They put you on a little rock with a big balloon and they float you out into the Arctic Ocean. (laughs) That's worse than being canceled, some people would say. You go out a legend, though. That's what matters. And the fucking slick-ass salamanders. That's sick. Where'd you put them? No, let's go, bro. Two months. Whoa, hey. Two months they'll hatch. What the fuck? Two months they'll hatch and I'll have 16. That's eight times more (laughs) than the were in the wild when I left El Salvador. In a way, I'm kind of saving the planet. But I'm not going to keep them alive for long. (laughs) When they're babies, if you ring them out, (laughs) you guessed it. Plutonium. (laughs) Hello. You know what I'm going to do with that? What? Smoke it. (laughs) Then what happens? I don't know. (laughs) No one's ever done it before. <laughs> Curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> what the fuck? <sighs> it's fun hanging out with you guys. Sure <laughs> is fun. Well, you know it. <laughs> I'm asking you. Do you know it? You're oh, my, you just weren't even looking anywhere near me. I know, because I'm trying not to look at your answer. Oh, I'm not going to show you. I know, but you were writing like you were bleeding a little bit. Here, look at me. Yeah, I'm looking at you. Wait, what the? Where am I? I'm looking directly at you. What are you doing? I knew I took a little too much cat this morning, but <laughs> this is a heavy dose. If I'm literally across the room, I feel like I'm sitting right next to you. Diggy, you're all right. You're not responding. What? I'm not. Riley! It looks like you're trying to say something. Dignan, are you okay? Your ears are so shiny. They look like little wax buttons. Dude, why are you sweating so much? What the? Dude, please just answer me. Honestly, this is cool with me. Check this out. <laughs> I've always wanted to do this and no one can see me. Dignan. Dude, we got to do a video. I kind of like this life a little more than the last one. Oh, what's up, buddy? Not much. How are you? Are you good? Just you didn't see none of that shit I was doing, right? What are you talking about? Good. <laughs> I'm the Michael Jordan of drunk driving. He's the Michael Jordan of drunk driving. <laughs> you know what happens if Michael Jordan gets pulled over? The cop goes, oh, no way. Oh, oh my God. You're the goat. No, oh, no way! Game four, Lakers, 93? And then he doesn't get a ticket. You had the flu! How did you play like that? Seriously, I gotta call backup. <laughs> Guys, get over here. Michael Jordan. I pulled over Michael Jordan. Oh, oh, he's wasted. He's, yeah. oh, he's a danger to society, but man, could he play. The only people that are writing MJ tickets are like old Lakers fans. Michael Jordan hasn't shown up to any court since 2003. How's it feel that I have metal in my arm and I could still beat your ass? You couldn't. Yes, I could. That's the thing is you I think... I have hate in my heart. Well, yeah, you would beat yes. my ass. I wouldn't beat your ass but because it... I actually love you. 
<laughs> but if it came down to it, yeah. say it was sanctioned. So I don't feel like there's an argument. Sure. It's just we're both trying to win a prize. A bunch of cash. A cash or a belt, something like that. Then I would best you physically. But, but that's like if there's rules. In a street fight, I'm winning. Again, only because you have motive. Yeah, because I'd gouge your eyes out. Yeah, and I don't have motive. <laughs> what was that? Did I just... you just almost fall over <laughs> sitting up? <laughs> if you are about to tell me you could beat my ass again, honestly, <laughs> that almost, proves my yeah, point. I almost tumbled there. <laughs> <laughs> How do you almost fall over <laughs> sitting up? A bit of an Ottoman situation. The Ottoman Empire fell once again. <laughs> Lean in my cup. She left me for Ted. What'd you say? What? <laughs> Who's Ted? Some guy she worked with said they were just friends. She? Who's she? Who are you talking about? <sighs> Mitchell. Mitchell? Mm -hmm. And that was a, a girl, a woman's name? Are you sure? How is it spelled? Because I hate to do this, but I feel like it might have been Michelle. M-I-T-C-H hyphen L. <laughs> Capital. <laughs> I think she was Scottish. Mitch, beautiful, Mitch beautiful L. woman. Okay. Hell of a rapper, too. She worked at, <laughs> she worked at a Hertz rent-a-car. And she left me for tech. This might Ooh, be the she, strangest person I've ever heard of. She said, baby, quit drinking that lean. And then she left me for Ted. Mm -hmm. Guess what I did? What? Poured up a double, <laughs> two caps, and I drank it in beer. Oh, my gosh. Lean in my 40. I just need a check. I want to retire. Right, totally. Right. Yeah. Wife needs a new nose. A kid needs a new nose. Why'd you get... <laughs> Why'd my you, kid's kid needs a new nose. Why'd you get a new nose first and then... Wait, did you say your wife's nose? Yeah. Didn't your wife leave you like two bits ago? I got a new wife. You got a new wife already? Yeah, she's ugly with a bird-ass bird, bird ass nose, and so she's got to get rid of it. Why are you sulking over your ex if you have a new wife? Because Mitch L. was hot. My new wife has a bird beak on her face. <laughs> I used her to procreate. Wait. Subsequently, <laughs> the, the kids have her bird beak. Kids? <laughs> How do you have a new wife? Wife and you already have multiple kids. That's why I got the new wife. I wanted to procreate, Riley. I wanted to spread my seed. When did Mitch L leave you? Who? 98 or something. 98. 99. <laughs> it was oh right around the time God. Dan retired. Jesus, man. My new wife's a bitch. Ted might not even be alive at this point. I don't care. I'm, I'm over that at... point in my life. You're not. You Two bits ago, you were sulking about she it. She was beautiful, okay? She was the manager at a hurt rent a car. You realize what kind of benefits that comes with any city I went to 60% off top of the line sports cars for the weekend I mean that sounds awesome but it doesn't seem like something she couldn't bear my children she had her own biological issues it was a tragedy she really wanted kids too I feel awful for her but her and Ted last I heard adopted four orphans orphans <laughs> four dolphins without parents no. orphans porpoises <laughs> Porpinson's Forfins. <laughs> Forfins that the are Porpinses. This is Those are Forfins that are Porpinses. <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, back to my original point. If you're traveling abroad this summer, take a carbon monoxide detector because a lot of these Airbnbs in other countries don't check for that. And they always assume Americans are sleepy anyway, so they don't take your symptoms. <laughs> Seriously. They just got finished eating a bunch of McDonald's. So. Oh, you fat fucks. Go take a nap. You're not sick. You ate two Big Macs and shot up a school. Of course you're tired. <laughs> you have some awesome friends. I do. Like, yeah. I have no friends. I know. And your friends are awesome. Dude, Full Throttle Philip. He met him? is crazy. Right? Isn't he so cool? I love his videos. There's yeah. no bike he won't jump over a school of children. Top Gun Timothy, have you met him? No. Oh, really? Mm -mm. Dude, he is insane. Are all your friends' names alliterations? Huh? Name one more friend. I just want to check something. Skate Trick Stanley. Yeah. Have no. you met him? I'm just I'm adding things up. And what? It makes sense now. What makes sense? He's cool as hell. I, yeah, it seems great. Fucking weirdo. God, I love cheesecake. Wait a minute, have you met my friend Cheesecake Chester? See, I'm starting to believe that you are lying. About what? Your whole group of friends. <laughs> I don't see why you would think that. <laughs> well, they just all, the names are too strange. Too cool? Ah, uh, my friend group is too cool with too cool of names. Well, you just have like, seems like everything we're about to talk about, you have a friend that's named after that. Eh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I mean, let me guess. Your next friend's gonna be like Crazy Quote Quincy. Crazy Quote Quincy, you know him too? <laughs> see what I mean? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I gotta give him a call, actually. That master goes me 20 bucks. You ever met my pal, Drain Gang Drew Garson? 
That's not a person. Hey, <laughs> what the hell, man? Why can't I have any? Oh, you know that gallery I invited you to? Yeah, the, I'm stoked. The opening is next Wednesday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it cool if my friend Jean Jacket Jeremy comes? Who? <laughs> Jean Jacket Jeremy? I mean, Grant, are you buying any of this? Yeah. He knows Jean Jacket Jeremy. I've met all of these people. Yeah. What the fuck, man? He's friends with um, Denim Dennis Dickerson and like the other guys. I'm gonna drink everything under the sink after this episode. <laughs> I'm seeing Future next month. Are you really? Yeah. Where? Rolling Loud uh, North Pole. Rolling Loud North Pole? Tro! <laughs> That's where I'm seeing it. They're doing a Rolling Loud North Pole. North Pole. Yeah, I'm about to get crazy with some elves. <laughs> <laughs> You think the elves are gonna be there? If you sleep with them, you become immortal. If you sleep, what, what do you mean? Wait, 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 wait. You mean sleep with them like- Procreate? Oh my gosh, okay. And you become immortal, not like your child, your spawn? Troll. I'm so confused. What? Yep. So wait. Rolling Loud North Pole. So you're going to Rolling Loud North Pole specifically to try to procreate no. with elves to become no. immortal? Or are you no. just giving me a fact? Yeah, I'm just letting you know if I am so lucky to be involved in one of the legendary elf orgies of Rolling Loud North Pole. It's kind of like Burning Man, but with snow. <laughs> and there's like a freaky dome that you can go into and get freaky. A freaky dome? Yeah, that's what it's like at Burning Man. There's like a dome. No, I know. The I just, orgy yeah. dome. Everyone knows the notorious orgy dome, but it's like that. I guess it's kind of an igloo, you could say. <laughs> You're right. going the freaky elf igloo and you get all sorts of... And then, bang, <laughs> next thing you know, you get to live forever. <laughs> Unless you die in combat. You can die in combat. It's everyone. They can't rob you of a hero's death. <laughs> so, so, so that's you, always you, an You option. can only die valiantly. <laughs> Correct. Oh, so it's kind of like that thing of when you either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become a villain. Sure. I have been considering a new graphic for our videos. Let me know what you guys think about this. It's just like a, a little joke sign that shows up. Like, I don't know if people know when a joke is happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah, if it yeah. just had like a sign in like the top right or top left, mm -hmm. they just said joke. Kind of like uh, cue cards. Yeah. Here comes a joke. Here comes a real story from my childhood. Here comes, yeah, trauma. You know, yeah, like, yeah. like maybe a trauma sign and a joke sign and it kind of goes back and forth. You know and I mean? at one point they can kind of bleed, like overlap. Yeah, like a JAMA sign. <laughs> <laughs> Do they call you like chiclet face or something like that? No. Okay. Uh, I mean, I'm not saying that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, if you'll indulge me, you know, my childhood, I got bullied for my teeth being so small. Mm -hmm. When I was, this is actually a true story. When I was in sixth grade, trauma. we had this uh, trauma sign. <laughs> Do you think there's anything we could say on here that would get the government to show up at the door? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> really? Yeah. What are some of those things we could say? Why would you ask me that? I'm not gonna say the I'm things. I'm curious. I'm wondering, so I don't say them. What would they be? All right, let me do it this way, okay? Read between the lines. I'm gonna go to the <whistles> and I'm gonna <whistles> the hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think the government would show up. We I might get shut won't. down I or something. I think they might. Next time I'm at the mall, I'm gonna <laughs> a bunch of woo woo woo. That seemed really explicit. That didn't even seem like you would have to read between the lines there. You literally went. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. If you saw my hands, it was more they of were, a. It was loose, but it was. It was a, a loose. <laughs> yeah, it was a loose. They can't. They can't <laughs> prove that. Have you ever heard Beyond the Reasonable Doubt? I like that album. It's a great album. There's not yeah. much Beyond a Reasonable Doubt. Honestly, no. can't knock the hustle. Mary yeah. J. Blige. Another example here. I'm thinking about getting a, hiding it in the desk of the, and letting it go. That was and nice. a bunch of people are gonna. That was really on the <laughs> nose, man. Everybody who works at this specific government is gonna get. <laughs> Seems like you're almost censoring the wrong words. <laughs> yeah. You probably should have censored government there. You think so? Yeah. I'm gonna go to Hertz Rent a Car, and then I'm gonna my body in the trunk no. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna dump it in the <laughs> cool so I won't say any of that stuff and then we should be good and if you do make sure you do what I did and kind of hide the, the, the meat yeah hide the meat leave just the bread and maybe the lettuce and the tomatoes but definitely you don't want the meat in there of that knock knock sandwich. Imagine getting jumped by 8.3 million people. <laughs> <laughs> you're walking in an alley. It's like dark at night. And you're like, oh shit, is that 8.3 million people? <laughs> They're like sneaking up behind you. <laughs> I guess I'm all right. <laughs> oh 
shit, I think that's 8.3 million people. <laughs> They're super mad at me oh, right now. I should cross the street. <laughs> Ready Player One's fire. Was it you that didn't like that? I've never seen it. Oh. <laughs> I've been to the bar downtown in Detroit, though. Arcade bar, Ready Player One. I think it's closed. Ah, I was there before it was closed. Big blue drinks. And big blue games. So. Big blue bartenders, too. Yeah, that was odd. That, <laughs> that was, was odd. That one took me off yeah, guard. They were like Smurf Hulks. Yeah, they were ginormous. Yeah, it was strange. It was Damn a blue near- man group, but like Avatars. mixed with like a bodybuilder convention yeah. or something. Greased up Avatar people. The walls would bleed there, too. What was up with that? Everybody's face was all swirly as well. Yeah. That was odd. We took a lot of acid before we went, though. I only took six, seven, eight, nine. Ten gel tabs. Yeah, me too. But I don't know. It's probably just the place. The atmosphere is weird there. (laughs) Big blue bartenders. The walls are bleeding. Everybody's Mm. faces are all swirly. And I figured out what I want to do with my life. Yeah, and it was like a Salvador Dali bathroom. Yeah, I remember that. The toilet was like. Wow. <laughs> I pissed all over the floor just to be safe. <laughs> I ordered tater tots and it looked like a tortoise. I tried to play skee ball and my mom popped out of the middle hole. I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She mm-hmm. said, You were a terrible son. And I was like, What the fuck? Man? Were I still am. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Word. <laughs> Thanks, mom. mom goes, you were a terrible son. You go, Word. <laughs> Oh, word. <laughs> oh, word. <laughs> word. I did not know. I thought I was I. Right. <laughs> That's a great thing to say at like an intervention, too. Hey, listen, we've, we've all gathered here because we care about you. Oh, word. <laughs> Y'all care about me. Pass me a beer. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Oh, it's YouTube. <laughs> it's YouTube. Who employs us? This is going on YouTube? <laughs> yes, this is. All of them go on YouTube. What, now you're nervous? No, I'm not nervous. I just want to look good. How did you not know these were going on YouTube? I don't know. I thought you just kept them for yourself. This is for us? So when people come up to you in person and say, are you that guy from YouTube? What do you think that's from? I thought they meant I looked like Ethan from H3. What? You don't look like Ethan from H3? You don't think so? (laughs) No. Thought maybe they thought I looked like a hot wing. Like from, are you saying hot ones is a hot ones reference? Yeah. I, okay. Yeah. I'm a little drumstick. Whatever, man. You know how there's people who can do tricks with guns? Or like take a bullet and like flip into the air into the chamber sure. or whatever? Like crazy stuff like that. That is like super meticulous. Yeah. And in cartoons, there's always like a crazy chef or cook who will like throw food up into the air and like cut it into a bunch of things. How does that happen in real life? I feel like there should be a chef so good that they could literally throw it up into the air and like cut it with their hands and all that. And this man never been to Benny Honest. I was just about to say, yeah. I don't think he knows what a hibachi grill is. Yeah. I've no. been to a hibachi grill. They don't do do it like that. Get out of the Midwest. Yeah, they do. They don't do it like that. They do. Big this is what they do. <laughs> Literally. And there, your burger is prepared. <laughs> a burger? You get a burger from a hibachi place? <laughs> they go like this. <laughs> Pizza. <laughs> oh, this is what they do. Okay, maybe I haven't been to a hibachi <laughs> no, no, no. place because honestly, like, this is what they do. This is what they do. <laughs> A single apple. Yes. <laughs> cool. Sometimes I've seen them do this too. All the bits are already chopped up, kind of like pre chopped up stuff. And they'll throw it up. Lasagna. <laughs> See, I'm so confused because I thought I had been to hibachi places, but burgers, lasagnas, and apples? I mean, there's, there's two different rooms. There's oh. the amateur chefs, kind of the citizen chef. They do the egg, the onion tower. They throw a little shrimp in your date's mouth, you know, basic stuff. There's a VIP section mm-hmm. where yeah, they... Your oranges, your melons. <laughs> yeah. See, last time I was at one of those places, I actually got really jealous. So I'm like, listen... I'm the only one who puts shrimp in my dates. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Cranial, which makes me think that their original name is Branial. Branial, yeah. Which is in the name be, either. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> Granule. It's granule now. Mom, I told you I'm a crip. It's granule now. I'm a Grape Street crip. <laughs> I don't care if you need to be granule. I'm granule now. Your family's having guests over. All right, Branyol's going through a little phase. He says he's a Grape Street crip. So if you could just call him Cranial, otherwise he's going to flip out. He'll ruin dinner. He comes downstairs waving a flag. He goes, what up, cut? <laughs> 
<laughs> he's crib walking in like loafers. <laughs> the cool uncle's like, hey, Cran, show me that crib walk again. Let me try it. <laughs> I got a, me. I had a Mickey Mouse club in my old house. <laughs> Couldn't get rid of those things. Oh, like a club to hit mice? Is that what you're doing? Is that the big No, year? like there were so many mice, it was a club. It was oh. pretty much a social club for mice. <laughs> oh, okay. And then you had like some other weapon to get rid of them. Yeah, I use a bowl of oil. A bowl of oil? Yeah, I get like a glass bowl and I just put like maybe that much baby oil in it. Uh-huh. And then I lure them in there, usually with a pan flute. And then when they fall in, they can't get out because they get all slippery. <laughs> they get oily and slippery and then yeah. they can't run? Is that what it is? It works. They can't get out of the bowl because it's so lubed up. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> you know, they like sell stuff that's like specifically like mouse traps and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but this one's really humane because once I let them outside, they're all lubed up for their mouse sex. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? They're slick. Right. They're s s little slick dick willies. How do you let them outside? I take the bowl outside. The whole bowl, and then yeah. you dump it. Whole bowl, and I'll say that as I walk through the house so my roommates know, full bowl, <laughs> and they'll be like, get him, get him, and I let him outside, and then they, yeah. <laughs> and then if they get back into the house, you might hear like, Yeah, that's from the female mouse. Male mouse don't make any noise. Much like humans, hey. Much we're, like we're, humans. We're, we're not we're that different. We're different after all. I'm sure Obama has some of those same criticisms for Western culture. I mean... It's not like just because he held the office. He's like a dumbass. Well, he drone bombed a bunch of people over there. You, that wasn't a soul call. Everybody's got to get off that wave. It's not like he was in his office and he's like, you know what's up today? Killing people. <laughs> there were like a hundred people that were like, you should fucking kill these people. They are bad motherfuckers. And he's like, you know what? I'll give it a shot. <laughs> and then he did it, and he was probably like, holy shit, what a rush. <laughs> and then he did it again, and yeah, again, and yeah, again, and you know? again, and again, and again. And those generals were like, yes, yes, Mr. President, do it again. Let's wipe them out. <laughs> Put that Ethel Kane song on. I'm, I'm really into that jam recently, and maybe they'll forget about the collateral damage. <laughs> Smithereens. <laughs> Unfortunate accident. Well, I had a fiance get cold shoulders. She was my chicken bride. <laughs> Didn't show up. Cold shoulders? <laughs> it's cold feet. <laughs> oh, she's got cold shoulders. God, that's so cold. <laughs> oh, Get sorry. that bitch a jacket. My shoulders are cold, Brandon. I don't want to do this anymore. Cold Quick, let shoulders. Me off, I changed my mind. <laughs> Well, bestiality was cool in the bi biblic days. The biblic days? The biblic? The biblic? The biblic days? I don't, are you doing like a Jeff Foxworthy? Is that, is that Dr. Phil? Now, you're on a cruise ship with Noah, if you know. There's two spiders on you. I don't know. Is what that, kind of what is, is that you? Dr. Phil? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, Noah had a wife. He did not... Fuck the animals, if that helps. Adele's British? She's Jamaican, but yeah. She's Jamaican me British. <laughs> <laughs> With how good her music is. You know I mean? Adele is Jamaican me British because her music is so fucking... <laughs> Don't you get? No, I get it. I was laughing. For some reason that took me to like imagine like a children's hospital, a bunch of terminally ill kids, and like a doctor comes in and is like, you know what's gonna Jamaican you kids feel better? Adele's here to sing a song. They like wheel her in in a piano. She like plays the kids. Why would the doctor make the Jamaican joke there? Because <laughs> the kids think it's funny, and laughter is a big part of healing. <laughs> and like an MC will often break the ice of the crowd with a joke before introducing the serious act. Yeah, but like the <laughs> Jamaican is like you're making or she's making. She's like, gonna make the like, kids feel better. I know, but he's <laughs> she's, she's Jamaican. Ja she's, Jamaican. He, she's here. To, she's here to Jamaican you feel British. <laughs> feel better. Oh, sorry. Either way, it still doesn't make any grammatical <laughs> sense. Today, kids, we got a special surprise for you. British and Jamaican star Adele is here to Jamaica you feel better. <laughs> And then he lights up a spliff. Yeah, this makes even less sense. <laughs> well, he's doing a Bob forward. Marley nod. Oh. <laughs> I mean, he's only got like 30 seconds. He's got to get all his jokes off. I have a graphic design degree. And I have a letter from my four times great grandfather sealed in his blood. I have a graphic design degree. And I have a questionable judgment of character. <laughs> I have a graphic design degree. And I have a spare tire in my bedroom. <laughs> Now, I have a graphic design degree. And I have a mouse that lives in my pillowcase. <laughs> His name's Winslow. <laughs> Teach me about graphic design school, Dad. <laughs> 9 to 11, and you know what that calls for. <sighs> a 9-11 challenge. Grant, pass me that toy plane. I still think this is an insensitive bit. You Hold up both mean? your arms, Riley. Play along. What is this, 90s Conan? It's like, I don't think so, man. <laughs> Oh, 
wait. It takes a while for the jet fuel to match the steel beams. Okay, fine. Oh my god, that fire looks pretty bad up there. I hope another doesn't. Whoa! I'm telling you, man, I don't think this is a good idea, man. All right, now make a pentagon with your hands. Should we scramble the fighter jets, General? <laughs> besides the people on the plane. All right, Riley, now be a field in Pennsylvania. <laughs> this is our plane. You're not going to take this to the White House. <laughs> Wait, where's the black box? Why is nothing left of it? Oh, my God. What a terrible day for America. But it ends up uniting us all. And now Grant <laughs> is going to be George W. Bush, and he's going to throw out the first pitch at the Yankees' next home game in New York. The place is going to go ballistic. I'm proud to be an American, <laughs> where at least I know I'm free. Like if Jay-Z's nudes leaked, I'd be like, let me see it. What? <laughs> this is so backwards. Jay-Z is famously not good looking. Yeah, but like he's Jay-Z. He's big Jay-Z. He's Lil Wayne's in the same conversation as Jay-Z. But in Jay-Z's case, it's been with Beyonce. And so I'd have to see what she's seen, you know what I mean? With Lil Wayne, <laughs> he's not like <laughs> married to the most famous woman ever. And so I'm not that interested in what his penis looks like. Okay, maybe I'd check it out. Okay, but... Maybe I'd want to look. Maybe I'd be a little curious, but I'd be less <laughs> curious than other rappers. Why is your interest in seeing a rapper's penis contingent on which women have seen it? Because <laughs> then we'd have that in common, I guess. You just want to be closer to Beyonce in some way? Kind of, yes. <laughs> Can you blame me for that? I, I don't know, man. There's something sexy about when he's younger than his daughter. Next. Next. There's something sexy about a father who's younger than his kid. You know what I mean? Yikes. No one else? Never thought that. I'm glad they didn't back to the future it, though. I'm glad they didn't hook uh, up. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Do they hook up? See, I'm just saying, scene, I don't the know. The scene kind of ends abruptly. It's we don't true. know what happened mm. in, that, in that hospital room. It's kind of like Inception. You don't know if the top stops or whatever, the you know? Stops. <laughs> 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 I think if I went like hard as fuck on thirst traps on TikTok, I would blow the shit up. Probably, but you have a pretty like fertile foundation for that. Like you, there's a lot of people who are fans of you on the internet. Yeah, already. but I just was, if I like hit it, like pedal the metal, fucking thirst trappy as shit. Like I'm in like rolled up underwear to make them shorter. And I'm like, just day one, starting progress. Follow me on my journey. And like a hot dog slips out of my pants or something. And the ground's covered in oil and I get up and I'm all glistening and stuff. And I was like, whoops. All right, sorry. Boop. That's equally. not really a thirst trap that sounds more like a the three stooges episode or something <laughs> okay like here. here's the comedy. next here's like, the next one the next like one it, like picks it up it gets way sexier i'm outside chopping wood and i'm in a flannel it's a little yeah it's it's, it's, it's unbuttoned yeah, all the way yeah, yeah. it's all the way unbuttoned i go to hit the wood and it makes like a squeaky dog noise and then someone hits me in the face with a cream pie and i go <laughs> Whoops, I didn't get a mean to get all this cream all over my gosh darn face and I put a little on me and then squirrels and other like fucking wildlife from the woods come and like eat it off me and I right as I unbutton my pants the video ends. I mean that's like fucking sexy. I mean that would be crazy. It's also very slapstick comedy though. It's like sound effect humor. What? You're getting hit with a cream pie in the face. What? Isn't that sexy though? A cream pie? I some uh, <laughs> Some people might think that's sexy in a certain way, but I think it's it's combining. The squeak of the toy? No, that's funny. It's not hot, though. I mean, like, okay, okay. Wait, it's a, it's yeah, a trilogy. Yeah, great things come in threes. The next one is like a full on movie set. And it's like a late night show. Almost like the last scene of the Joker with Joaquin Phoenix. But I don't have clown makeup on. I have all sorts of other makeup. It's a collagical mishmash experience from all over the world. You with me? Yeah, I'm there, I guess. I yeah. get on the talk show. Obviously, I sit down, there's a whoopee cushion, a big one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comically large whoopee cushion. Okay. I sit down and I have huge shoes on. And the host goes, What's up with the huge shoes, you big sexy hunk? And I say, These things? It's because I got huge feet and I wink, but I have so much makeup on it seals my eye shut. <laughs> and I say, Come here and give me a hand. And the host has to. <laughs> kind of peel my cinched eye back up and then I throw up uh, and then wait I lift some weights and then I uh go back to the wood chopping I don't know what uh, I need a <laughs> sexy coach could you be my sexy coach I would just ditch all of these premises these what? premises are all slapstick comedy premises slapstick. you're wearing clown shoes you sit on a whoopee cushion I mean this isn't like thirst trap stuff <laughs> 
I mean, if a girl sits on a whoopee cushion near me, even if there's not a cushion, it sounds like she sits on a whoopee cushion. I, that's, Anyone for that matter. That's just kind of what you're into and that's fine. But like, I don't think that's going to work with a big audience. If anymore. wildlife eats food off of someone's wild body, I'm going to go crazy. <laughs> that's hot to most people. No, not to most people. Imagine a deer licking you clean. I, that's not something I'm into. It could all be so simple. You Imagine really, you, all you have to do is like unbutton your shirt down to here okay. and just kind of like do a dance or yeah. maybe like smile at the camera and use like some audio that's really popular. And, and a big it. anvil falls on me. The no, I walk no. Outside. What? No, I it's don't. It's like an infl It's not a real anvil. Well, no, I didn't expect you to actually get crushed by an anvil. I'm yeah. saying don't, you don't have to involve all this fucking wily, like, wily coyote shit. How about a piano falls, but I'm like standing perfectly in the middle, but my teeth are replaced with the keys. <laughs> and I'm like, uh oh! <laughs> this isn't fucking Looney Tunes. And you I don't say, have to do this. I say, follow me on my workout journey. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm not. This is too much. Should I eat a rat? No. No. <laughs> you know what? Don't even get TikTok. Yeah, I want to be a thirst trap. Scrunch fuckers at <laughs> Fud Ruckers. You're telling me these lunch suckers don't know suck punchers? <laughs> That's, can you just like text that to me? Like, Again. Yeah, yeah. Scrunch fuckers at FUD Ruckers? Yeah, I heard you. I You're telling know. me that's lunch suckers? <sighs> what the hell? Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough being it's just, funny, man. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm such you, a serious person. What? You just <sighs> threw together a bunch of syllables that sound similar. FUD Ruckers is a restaurant. I know. Scrunch fuckers are little guys scrunched up together. <laughs> so the scrunch fuckers are at FUD Ruckers. <laughs> You're telling me lunch suckers? That's a special they run on Wednesdays for lunch. And then the other word, I forgot what I said. <laughs> but it all worked together, I'm telling punch, you. Like sucker suck punchers. Yeah, yeah, suck punchers. Suck punchers. Yeah. And that's like, I'll punch the scrunch fucked up guys if they eat all the lunch specials. Yeah. Okay. So that makes it a joke. Because <laughs> it works. Three, two, one. I put Snoop Dogg. That's what I put. It is Snoop Dogg. Hey! Oh, there we go. Yeah. Oh, what? what? Am I supposed to know this? Here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Amen. <laughs> I don't. Did we practice that or something? Yeah, <laughs> Little League Baseball. That was my Homer celebration. I didn't know you when you were in Little League. I met you like, what, a year and a half, two years ago now? We weren't in a Little League together? No. Well, I just stopped playing about a year ago. Why were you playing Little League? Aren't you like in your 40s? Yeah, I have a learning disability. Which learning disability? Curveball. And the knuckle. I have okay. a hard time with the knuckle. That doesn't seem like it has anything to do with, okay, whatever. They let me play. Tonight we're at Shrek Rave. We're gonna be seeing what it's all about. Obviously, I'm Shroker. I thought everyone else was gonna dress up, but uh. Uh, uh. Oh God. What? What is this guy dressed don't as? Fucking look I at me. <laughs> is it? Is it Joker? I'm Shroker. Shroker. You. That's actually pretty cool. Is that not bad? Hey, we're still at Shrek Rave, and I'm starting to wonder what the fuck the point of everything is. It's like, whose fucking swamp is it? It's obviously not mine. It's a fucking big, stinky swamp. I need some fucking help. Uh. I mean, why the fuck are we even here? This is the best night of my life, yeah! I love Shrek, man. This is so fun, holy shit. We're fucking here at fucking Shrek Rave or whatever, dude. What? Stop with all it of this. It's like, matter, no, dude. it matters. None of this shit. Thank you for joining us on this wonderful journey. Baby, I'm a believer in just, you know, life having meaning. And that's the main point of this video. 
We'll see you next time. This has been Shrek Rave. Oh, so they bought their own school. They bought their own school. I would also like to add that they turned it into a community center. So they stopped it from being a school? <laughs> <laughs> what? That's like buying a hospital and turning it into a Chuck E. Cheese or something. <laughs> Being like, hey, this hospital saved me from liver disease, so I'm going to buy it and turn it into a, a movie theater. <laughs> Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, this is the ICU? Make it a ball pit. <laughs> Enough doom and gloom around here. Let's have a little fun now that I'm healthy. Bring in the clowns. Let me call the game. He's got a diamond car. I bet you the kids would love that. <laughs> Girls can sing, and I think it's sweet when they do. Sweet, 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 sweet. You know what? If they were trying to pass a law that said girls can't sing anymore. I would kill myself. I would be, I would object to it. Yeah. I would walk down to City Hall with like like a, a big contraption. Kind of like a hamster wheel, but it's got a bunch of guns on it. Yeah. I'd be just spinning it. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it, but I'm just, it's a the threat and kind of the yeah. theater of it and I just go down to City Hall and say let them sing I'd put my let hands in sing. I'd put my hands in a toaster and say not taking them out until they let them sing nice and I'd go live on TikTok oh okay a uh, gesture of solidarity Thank I you. like that and then I'd walk into a police station and I'd go oh yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't do that that I'd one say, seems like it wouldn't no <laughs> a police station I'd say excuse me I think I lost my <laughs> Terrible, the cops say, terrible so. idea. For say, me. good afternoon. What can we help you with? And I'll say, <laughs> they, that's. A, that's I'll say, give me a second. You realize what would happen, right? Like immediately, right? Sweet relief, pal. You'd be peppered with bullets. I don't want to live in a world where girls can't sing. Mm. Oh, wow. See, so earlier today I was doing research on foot fetishes, <laughs> and I found out that the reason people have foot fetishes is because the part of the brain that perceives feet is right next to the part of the brain that perceives genital stimulation. Really? That's really what it is. And I also found out that the part of the brain that perceives babies is right next to the part of the brain that perceives food. <laughs> and my cousin hit his head really hard a couple weeks ago, and so those receptors switched. So now when he sees a baby, it's like he's looking at it like a pot of gumbo or a sizzling steak. Oh, that's awesome, man. I mean, he starts salivating. That is awesome. And it's not like, no, he hasn't like, tried it or sure. anything. He hasn't okay. tried yeah. one or right. anything like yeah. that. Like, right. That's but fine. I mean, when he walks into a daycare, I mean, his mouth starts watering like it's a breakfast buffet. Uh, that is awesome. Does he have a kid? No, he doesn't have a kid. So why is he going in the daycare? I mean, that's, I mean, he shouldn't. That's what He's I'm saying. That's nose. what I'm saying. It's just kind of like, yeah. He hasn't done anything yet. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> but like, what are you even supposed to do about that? I mean, I'd just hollow out that soft spot and I'd put an egg in there and make like a hot pot. I'd press in the soft spot. That's, you know, that's flying a little close to the sun, don't you think? And I like would crack an egg in there. I don't know if he's going to stop at the egg if the bowl is appetizing. Well, I'm saying you eat the kid. Well, no, no, no. That's oh. what I'm saying. Like, you shouldn't do that. Oh, maybe put it on like a rotisserie and put it like five feet above a fire and let that sucker spin for like 14 hours so the meat's so soft it like drips off the bones. I mean, dude, he is like losing his <laughs> mind trying not to eat children. That's kind of like all oh. of your solutions have been eating children. Yeah, yeah. That's not, he shouldn't do that. Yeah. He thumped his head and now infants are like cheeseburgers. Maybe like simple like garlic butter, rosemary, oven, 365, two and a half hours. He does not need recipes. Broil it for the last for 15 kids. minutes to get it no, crisp. No, this is not, this is exactly the opposite. I'm uh, saying like, how should he restrain himself? Right. I'd use a cast iron pan, white wine vinaigrette with a shallot. Oh, and maybe no. some tarragon. I would take uh, the baby's ass, the fat part, and I would coat the pan in that baby <laughs> Ooh, fat. Uh. And then I would get all the lean loins and stuff, and I'd give them a nice hard sear on the cast iron. It does sound good. <laughs> I, I, I will say, like yeah. tarragon right. and, and baby fat. I mean, <laughs> yeah. wow. But, I, but still, again. What about a 30-day dry age? I know it takes a little extra time, but that, I mean, it really does something to the meat. By that time, it's basically a toddler. Yeah, I don't yeah. even think he'll be hungry. Yeah, he shouldn't go down that route, man. It's a messy, messy road. And once you get a taste, you know what they say, Brad. That you need help. Nothing compares to the taste of human flesh. That's what they say, man. It is the most dangerous game. And the most delicious filet. I'm just going to tell him to get a new hobby. Maybe start collecting stamps or something. You ready, Brad? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm excited to get back into the game. You know? Big Sean. Yeah. Wow. I love Big Sean. Did no. you know that? Really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I am. I didn't think I'd get the opportunity to proclaim my love for Big Sean, but here I am sitting on the throne with a crowd of hundreds of thousands of people listening to me, and I'm going to scream it from the rooftops. Okay. Go, go up there. I love Big Sean. <laughs> I love you. No one's ever made me feel this way. I'll do anything for you. I'm just crazy about you. Thank you, Sean. 
Big Sean, I love you. <laughs> Can I ask you a question? What? What do you love about him? I love your cornrows and that you're much, much shorter than me and that your bars are so witty and that you left your wife for me. I love you, Big Sean. <laughs> and thanks for taking me to Dolly World. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Big Sean took me to Dolly World. <laughs> I super liked him on Tinder. That was our first date. He is rich as fuck. Let me tell you. He flew my, he flew my yeah. ass out on a PJ straight to Dolly World. Next thing you know, we're riding wooden roller coasters through the woods. <laughs> me and Sean, hand in hand. We were ducking and diving from the paparazzi all day, but eventually, love wins. <laughs> By the time guess, this video yeah. comes out, I'm sure the relationship will be public. So... <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty comfortable with everything I've said and done so far. So you can just send that out there and I'm sure it will not spoil our budding romance. I thought he was with Janae Iko. She left her because she doesn't like Dolly World. <laughs> but me, on the other hand, fuck, I'm obsessed with that place. Holy shit. I got an airbrush t-shirt, Dolly World on it. Used it as a rag later on accident, but... I got it. You know what's crazy today when I got here? What? I went to wake Grant up and in his room, he was cleaning his extensive Stetson collection. He's got an extremely extensive Stetson collection. An extremely extensive Stetson collection. Yeah, I walked in his room and he was steaming his extremely extensive Stetson collection. Oh, interesting. And you have to steam hats like that because they're old and musty. You should check it out sometime. Grant, do you mind showing him how extensive your Stetson collection is after this video? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, cool. So wait, in your room, I mean, is there a section for your extensive Stetson collection? collection? Ah, there is one exception to Grant's extremely extensive Stetson collection. What is it, like a fedora? Yeah. <laughs> <He's got laughs> three, two, one. I put The Ride by Lil Yachty. I put Let Me Do Granky off the new Yeet album. <laughs> is that a track? <laughs> Let me do Granky. La me de Cranky. Da Granky. La me de Granky. <laughs> Isn't that off the new? It's on the screen. No, that's not a real song. Oh. This is a We Saw the Sun by Lil Yachty. Uh, <sighs> could be Keanu Reeves from Cyberpunk. That was an iconic role. Is his name Keanu Reeves in that game as well? No, it's like Johnny Sins or something like that. <laughs> Johnny Sins is someone else. Really? <laughs> that is someone else. Yeah. Really? It's Johnny something. Big old whistle on that guy. Oh, really? That. Yeah. Johnny Sins <laughs> Keanu? is known for his whistle. No, Johnny. Uh, sense. He's whistle. a whistle man. Yeah. A whistle pig. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yeah. He's a whistle. Get the whistle pig in here. That's me if I was a porn director and the scene's like not going well enough. Cut. Bring in the whistle pig. <laughs> and they haul him in like in chains. And he's like. <laughs> of course, it's never okay to objectify women. Right. But it's always okay to womanify objects. Like a lamp, you go, oh, she is awesome. Or a boat, classically. You know? Oh, shit, look at her. Look, look at, at her. her. She's done right <laughs> by me. Look at that, me. baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's done right by me. But for literally life. anything. Like, it could be a dress, a card, a painting. Anything could be a she. You just, like... We manify him, though, too. Look at this little fella right here. Oh, no. look at this guy. That's an animal. No, people say that about things all the time. Like? Toss me that guy. That that dude. Let me see that little dude. People say that. I don't think so. Yeah, they do. If you're digging through your couch cushions, looking for the remote, you're going, where is she? No, you're not. Yes, you are. No, you could, just, you could say, ah, oh, there he goes. And you grab it. There he goes. You're forcing this. No, I'm Paul. not. Paul. No, I'm you're not. forcing this super hard. I would say that. No, you wouldn't. Or like another beer at a bar. I'd say, give me another little guy. No, you just say. I wouldn't say. You'd say, give me another one. And they'd say, sir, you've already had 16. I can't <laughs> serve you. Say, yeah, say, no, 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 give no. me that. <laughs> give me that or I'm going to kill you. Or give me a cold boy. Cold one. No, cold boys. I, you've never said that. I, a six pack I hang out with boys. you all the time. You never say <laughs> stuff like that. Guys, I just picked up a nice 24 rack of little boys. Listen. And I'm going to bring them over and we're going to slurp them down. I hate to expose you this way, but you are way more likely to say, pick up a six pack of them bitches. <laughs> <laughs> And listen, not like that, but I'm not, I'm not trying to, but I'm just saying, you know, you're like, oh, that bitch is nice. That's what you'll say about like a slice of fish. I would also say that boy's slapping. You don't say that. You're just making that part up to I try to- I would serve you a plate and I'd say, Mr. Food coming in. Mr. <laughs> Food. Yes, I would. <laughs> President Cheeseburger just landed. <laughs> Presidents can be women too, just not yet. Yeah, well. Probably never, too. <laughs> and I'm just saying, it's like, it's not me. The whole country votes. I would vote for a woman, and I did. Once. <laughs> saying the country as a whole. 
we'll have a gay Chinese guy as president before we have a woman. And I stand on that. It's just the truth. Also, another thing I'd call a beer. Give me a glass of truth. <laughs> <laughs> I've been lied to all week. Give me a glass of truth. I was obsessed with dinos though. Wrote stories about them. I would buy little figurines of them and like line them up like they were gonna fight. Anybody out there who was obsessed with dinosaurs as a kid, you'd get one of those bricks that you would take little archeology span tools and break open and there'd be bones inside of them and they smelled like shit. Yeah. Nerd. Try to, I told you, you gotta suppress your bully energy. Uh, you're doing all right. It doesn't, it's not coming out as a full word. I think it's cool that you were so curious. Yes, thank you. As a young boy about prehistoric life. Yes, thank you. Nerd. <laughs> yeah, the last, it's close. Yeah. You're getting there. And I like the progress. I appreciate that. Loser. <laughs> I love you. And you're, you were probably a cool kid. Ips quick. <laughs> <laughs> it's like your freaky art teacher. You find out they make music and like you're showing your class this. You're yeah. Like, Dude, this is Mr. Ritherspoon's music. He's messed up. The video is like a live thing of him playing piano and like a leather jacket. And he's like losing his mind. <laughs> he walks in and he's like wiping tears off his face in a suit. And he's like, get out your sketchbooks. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Ritherspoon. We know you're an artist. Express yourself. Just like you're trying to teach us. Yeah, the progressive kids of now are, <laughs> yeah. are like, dude, we love it. Yeah. Even if it's not successful, man, like you should make art. That's not what art's for, man. Don't fall into the capitalist system and think that art should only be incentivized by money, man. Like we love that you're doing it. The troubled kid stands up in the back and he's like, Mr. Ritherspoon, you told me on day one of class that I have the autonomy to create original pieces of art that only I can make. And now I want to say those words to you. And he's like, thank you, Tommy Flash. <laughs> All of a sudden, is, it's is like, that the same voice yeah. as the kid? <laughs> thank you, Tommy Flash. <laughs> and then Tommy Flash is like, I have a confession to make. I also make music. Here's my song. <laughs> and then he plays it in front of the entire class. And it's like the same song. <laughs> it's like just the same no, setup. The same song. Exactly. <laughs> Someone else stands up. He's the captain of the football team. He's got a ball in his hand. I make music too. I got, I got a confession too. I'm not just some dumb jock. I make music too. And it's like, every time someone confesses that they make music, it's the same song, but it starts like a half second later and they all start playing at the same time. It's like this confusing cacophony of sounds. And every single one is the same video setup, but it's the person that stood up. So they're like at the piano, like like in a leather jacket, like blah, blah, blah. The vi same video keeps playing. The principal walks in, what the hell's going on in here? Principal Johnson, we're just talking about how everybody has the autonomy to create art that only they can make and about how money shouldn't incentivize those things. And then Principal Johnson's like, I have a confession to make class. Takes off his blazer, the leather jacket's on underneath. I make music too. <laughs> Never gonna start again. And we call the movie High School Musical. <laughs> <laughs> two. <laughs> Great bars in there. He invented the question mark. <laughs> if Wahlberg was president, you'd know that I'd question mark. <laughs> also, the I get a buzz off a light beer. Yeah. So funny. My debut EP was titled 12 with a Future. B, I am a Leo. And C, I have Justin Bieber's phone number. I sure hope so. They look alike. Do you think he exaggerates his accent for, for interviews? Oi, mate. <laughs> 999 content. Sorry, that's what Australian people say that. 
<laughs> Yo, I might have to keep that in. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, I know who has this. Really? Yeah. Okay. Well, now I, like, it clicked. I don't like remember seeing them in it or anything. <laughs> I don't remember being in it myself. <laughs> I've never been in that shower. <laughs> Three, right. two, one. Drake, Drake. It is Drake. <laughs> oh, cool. Yeah. Oh, nice. Yeah, we've never been in there. No, I haven't been in there. No <laughs> way. Wait. It is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you dare put pictures like this in here. I'm gonna post a memoriam post for you. Like before. Yeah. Before. I'm just gonna post it and then delete it like 20 minutes later. Be like, oops, found him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, sorry, guys. He was in the kitchen. I just, I looked, I thought I looked everywhere. And I'd like to take this time to thank our sponsor, Harry Styles. Without you, Harry, none of this would be possible. Harry Styles sponsored this video? Yes. I didn't know that. Say thank you to Harry. Thank you, Harry. What was less, that? Where did that voice come from? Flirtatious. I'm sorry. I might, voice is I might work with him someday. I don't want to start off on the wrong foot. Right. Start off on a cold foot. Um... <laughs> Are there any talking points Shoulder for me first. about Harry? Yes, they're right there on the prompt. Go ahead. Oh, okay. Harry Styles. Not only are you a talented musician, but your first foray into acting was a marvelous success and bewildered the youth? Correct. Bewildered the youth. Yep. It's I don't it's Good odd line. wording, but yeah, okay. And if oh god, it's so say it. it's so small. Just say it. Okay. And I know one thing, if Harry Styles is sponsoring the video, it can only go one direction. Okay. Great. Oh, Great. God, he, I can't the, believe he put that in there. Yeah, now the weird. call to action. The call to action. Okay. That cannot be right. It is. Just oh, say it. All right. We're getting paid a lot for this one. Okay. Here we go. Go to verizonwireless.com and use code Harry Styles. Mm -hmm. Where, why shouldn't we be the code? Why no, is he no, the code? He's the code. Usually the code's about our channel. It's I like know. for our. Okay. I requested that it Whatever. Was Harry use Styles. code Harry Styles for 100% off a new iPhone. <laughs> wow. It seems insane, but. Mm. Are you sure this is the real Harry Styles? Where'd you get this inquiry? Email. Email? Yeah. And it was from like the official Harry team or? It said Harry's team dot com. <laughs> <laughs> All right, whatever. I trust it. Yeah, me too. I love his music. You know this one? Yes. Oh, man. You're going to really <laughs> pull ahead here. The fact that you don't know it is bad. See, I'm looking at it, and I see the mustache now as, like, the hair on the top of someone's head. Because of that gap between the upper lip, right. you could fit eyes in there. I see what you're doing there. You'd have, like, a little Vietnamese man or something. <laughs> It's not the time. Ah. It's just not the time. I don't know. Is this a bad guy? <laughs> <laughs> There's really nothing. This is just this is amazing. It's amazing stuff. I'm so glad you don't know. It's not a bad guy? <laughs> just right, just jot down a little guess and we'll get it over with, you know? Oh, I hate you guys. Three, two, one. Martin Luther King Jr. Yeah, Luther Vandross. <laughs> <laughs> How did you guess the wrong Luther? <laughs> Is Luther Vandross for Martin Luther King Jr.? Is he a bad guy? Depends if you think cheating on your wife is wrong. <laughs> Did a lot of good though. Did a lot of good. <sighs> I am not proud of the man I am. <laughs> Little Vietnamese man. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm so nervous about this. You know what I'm saying? What what countries did you guys choose to represent for the Olympics? Uh, oh, we didn't. We just called it Audio Olympics because it's like many different like events, what? I guess. Yeah. We didn't represent any countries. We're just representing Hive Mind, I guess. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, I'm I'm going to be representing for the great country of Bulgaria. <laughs> Red, white, green. Birth rate of 1.56 births per woman. Ranked 20th uh, in internet speed. 20th what? in the world, Oh, actually. <laughs> That's good, I guess. Um, I guess. Yes, that sounds good. There's nine uh, UNESCO heritage sites there too. Who figures out the birth rate per woman? That's like <laughs> a weird, that's a weird thing to say. 13.4% circumcised, which is low. That, I guess, <laughs> what's the US? Like 90 something, Bullsh. probably. Bullsh. Well, no, it can't be. There's almost 50% women here. I... Uh, <laughs> All right, Bulgaria it is, and me and Riley will represent the great nation of hive mind. Yes. All right. Second question has been asked. Uh, normally, I would do a bar of the day, right? I have some great bars prepared. Yeah. So here, here goes nothing, I guess. So you're going to do one. You said normally I would do one. I said, so here goes nothing. Okay. Here goes nothing. Okay. Gorda stara planina. Donne duna vasine, slonse trachia o griva, nad pinira, 
plamene. Let me guess, that was the Bulgarian national anthem? That's correct. Okay. That's fire. Pretty gas. <laughs> yeah. I heard Tiesto remix that. <laughs> yeah. I prefer the bars of the day, but I mean, hey, whatever. There is a lot of bars there. They're talking about the great mountains ah. of Bulgaria. All right. Well, <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I think you'd be a great actor. Do you really think so? Or are you just saying that? I don't remember the last time somebody looked me in the eye and told me just one true thing. One honest thing. Everywhere I go, I see lies and deception. I see right through it. Even if it was an insult, I'd rather have a true, honest insult. Awesome, Riley. If we're interested, we'll give you a call back. Um, thanks for coming in. Should I have cried? I can't say that, but that's Martin fucking Scorsese, and yeah. You think I should have cried? That's Martin fucking Scorsese. I know, no, but no, I, we don't have time for another read. It's not even. Next, it's not about please. the read. It's a, it's just about like I'm trying to get a read on the character. To me, I got solemn and I got mm. jaded for sure, bitter. But he's too manly for the emotion. I don't know. I mean, if you want me to cry, I can give it a quick cry real quick. We got a lot of other people in the waiting room. Um, we got to get to them again. Thanks for coming in. Mm. Um, I think we're looking in a different direction for this role. Really? I mean, yeah. a lot of people out there. I mean. I don't mean to be brash or anything, but they were basically like fugly versions of me. <coughs> Appreciate the input. We'll give you a call back. If I'm just we're saying they looked a lot like me, but like not. Yep. They mean you're not going to get this out there. That's all I'm saying. Talk to your agent. Maybe something else will open up in the film. Right. But I just talked. I mean, I yeah. talked to a lot. I did a lot of chitter chatter out there. I did not get a lot of charisma out of these dudes. I really think I'm kind of the best you're working with. <laughs> Again, we really appreciate it. Um, yeah, we'll I'm be on, in touch. I'm going to filibuster. Yeah, I think I'm going to filibuster. So uh, we'll be in touch. I really, really think you're going to want me in this movie. And honestly, I think this is what the character would do. It's not even really just me as an actor in here being like demanding this role. I'm saying I'm still in character and I think the character would demand the role. A lot of conviction on the character. Yeah. So I think I'm I'm not going to take no for an answer. This character was supposed to be a bum who gets brutally shot and murdered in an alleyway. You didn't even have a line. And you came in here and monologued for 25 minutes and now you're filibustering us? <laughs> Listen, buddy, I think you're going to want me in the role, okay? Oh, God, there's somebody in the alley. Uh-oh. I hope this doesn't go south. I would sure hope not to die in a bleeding out in an alley. Oh, is that a knife? Watch out. Uh-oh. I'm thinking stuff like that. Mm -hmm. You know, am I getting closer to the character for you? What are we doing? No. So I'll show up to set on Wednesday then, huh? We will not be seeing you Wednesday, but I will be in touch if anything comes up. Stay home Wednesday, please. <laughs> if you are on the set, you will be trespassing and arrested. Let me talk to Scorsese. No. I mean, I think I'm speaking his language, you know what I mean? He's asleep right now. Wake up, Martin. Come on. I'm this. I'm, I'm your jackpot. I'm your golden goose. Get me, let me in the movie, huh? Don't wake Martin up. A different accent? No. You think you're going to need to go. Should it be a different day. accent? I think, I, I see what you're, I read it all over your face. Yeah, you're going to want a different one. Okay. I mean, I'll be damned if I'm not put straight in this movie. I really think I am the cream of the crop. I am the best actor out in that lobby, and I'm the best damn actor Scorsese ever going to lay eyes upon. Why are we holding auditions for this role again? Mr. Savage, it's not a speaking role. We wanted you to come in here, lay down, and take these fake bullets like a boss. Now you're doing a country bumpkin kind of thing. I appreciate the versatility, sure. Well, I mean, there's always wiggle room, you know what I mean? I think that could be like a spot for me. Like, yeah, it's a non-speaking role like in the script, but I think if I'm able to kind of flip the character just a little bit, I'll, I'll manipulate in the, the way that I do, you know? Maybe I, I squeak out a line or two and then it kind of grows from there. Like I think, uh, I think about the character as a more fluid character, yeah. you know? You know, your persistence might have actually paid off. We do need a stunt double for a scene where Brad Pitt shrinks himself down and explores the cloaca of a seagull. Is that something you'd be interested in? <laughs> You're telling me you need me to be a mini Brad Pitt and go inside a bird's ass? Yeah, is that role still? Yeah, that role's still open. <laughs> You're not gonna regret this. Yeah, thank you so much for the opportunity. I really appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. Yes. Glue hands. That's what they used to say, glue hands. Oh, glue hands, get out there. Hey, glue hands, get out there. <laughs> get out there and catch that ball. That's all you're good for. <laughs> as a coach, that's a coach who's like, like compliments them on their playing, but is really trying to break down their confidence in all other aspects of life. You better get out there and catch that ball. Lord knows you can't save your marriage. Hey, quarterback, get out there and sling that thing. God knows you suck at math. <laughs> <laughs> that's good coaching strategy. It's old school. Yeah, it's old but school. But it works. Yeah. Keep your pivot foot, Bobby. Lord knows you can't do Texas. <laughs> get out there and smack one to left field. God knows you can't play guitar or sing. <laughs> Dignan, get out there. You're terrible at money management. Hey, I thought you were doing a bit. It is a bit. Cosgrove, take it to the rim. Lord knows you can't sing or dance. Gun to your head, you have to get a tattoo today. What are you going to get? Um, I... Knife to your throat right now.
You okay. gotta get a tattoo. What are you getting? Okay, a I... guillotine on your neck. I'm holding the rope. What are you getting inked on you forever? Okay, if... CO2 leak in your Airbnb. Are you bombing your car? I, I think I... javelin midair about to impale you in the chest. <laughs> what tattoo you gotta get? Is this about poison in your coffee? Kid. Michael Myers is a flamethrower and he's at your front door and he's you gotta get a tattoo. What you gonna get? I think maybe get you're seated on the electric chair. <laughs> They're about to pull the lever. You're tied to two semis. They're gonna drive opposite directions. You gotta get a tattoo right now. What is it gonna be? Would it even matter at that point? Blackout drunk. Somebody's about to give you a bunch of drugs, pour them right down your throat, a bunch of pills. What tattoo you get? Tattoo the person who did it so they can get arrested. Oh, that's pretty cool. That's a smart ass yeah. idea. That's Holy a cool shit. Tattoo, that's like Brad. solving a it's like a cold case files sort of vibe. Like a yeah. memento cold case files combo. It's a good answer, Brad. Good yeah, answer. good answer, man. Good answer. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> Show me tattoo of the person who's about to kill Brad. Ding, pop answer. Grant, the when you watch <laughs> when you watch Joe Rogan, like, do you do you think about Jamie? And you're like, damn, I gotta get to that level. <laughs> like, <laughs> do you identify with Jamie? He's right? so quick. <laughs> No, wow, silence. Usually, this dude is laughing at the whole room apart. And he the hates moment, Jamie. Yeah, he doesn't like when we bring up Jamie. He's in a really touchy spot there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he looks in the mirror and he's like, Are you just Jamie? Do you even have your own personality? You're just like Jamie. You're behind the camera. Sometimes you laugh, you look stuff up for people. Jesus Christ. Oh, oh, no. no, that's funny. What the hell is hand, foot, and mouth disease? You ever heard of that with yeah. babies? Yeah, hand, mouth, foot, and mouth yeah. disease. Yeah. Isn't it? It's just like a bacterial infection, I believe. It's like warts or something. Hand, foot, and mouth disease. If my kid gets that... You're gonna kill yourself if your kid gets sick? No. <laughs> oh. Kill my wife. <laughs> In an elaborate way, then. I'll never be able to catch you. Yeah, I'll maintain my yeah. freedom, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I mean, the biggest trick I could do is convince her to kill herself. <laughs> <laughs> Ruin the marriage, pretend to abuse the kid, get the kid roped in on it. <laughs> you like this, when mommy's gone, there will be no rules. You want no rules, don't you? There's too many rules around here. Aren't you sick of all these rules in this house? This is literally like insidious designs. Yeah, I know. I'm not gonna actually do it either, man. I was just testing the murky, dark waters of comedy, pushing boundaries. <laughs> I'm gonna marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. <laughs> One after another until my militia of well-trained primates can raid the White House and lower interest rates this time. When I train them, they'll lower the rates. Convince a congresswoman. <laughs> marry a congresswoman and convince her to kill herself. It's pretty cool. Easier done than said, some people say. <laughs> Anybody yeah. can do that. But to say it now, that takes gusto. <laughs> what? It's Big bazonga nice. hongas? There's nothing There's nothing, nothing disgusting those. about no, bahamba just, chumbies. No. I <laughs> Just for some reason, the fact that you like like picturing other girls with boobs. I'm not other girls with boobs. Like when I when we say things like crankle anchors or <laughs> flappy drappies, in my mind, it is literally a black background and from the foreground comes a rack. And it is just that. Yeah. No but head, no torso. Nothing. nothing. It is a yeah. and, and the edges of it, I'm describing it to you just as I'm seeing it. Just a blurry edge around it. It's kinda like this. And then it's just boobies <laughs> right there. And that. But kinda, whose are they, Graydon? I don't know. Who the fuck <laughs> is that? <laughs> Who the, is this? It's the universe. It's the universal. Yeah. What the hell? Cramba Drambos. I don't know. Yeah. They There's... just come floating to me. I see them. If I see you picturing her again, don't call I'm going to find her family and I'm going to oh. tell them what's been going on. Oh, yeah. Don't you fucking dare. Oh, yeah. Stop it. I'm going in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. Like, it's gonna be sick, actually. Here I go! <laughs> what are you plucking your nose for? They're huge! I can't <laughs> breathe in there! Does anybody ever tell you that, that you've lost the plot? Lost the plot, jump the shark, eat the fuck, you know what I mean? I get, to, I get all sorts of crazy shit. People say crazy shit to me all day, man. What do you mean? You think you're just like, you think you nailed it? I didn't nail People it. People say I'm all sorts saying. of crazy shit to me. I mean, yeah, but... Gumball pizza. <laughs> Smack salad. Someone said that to me right as I woke up this morning. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> right when you woke yeah. up, somebody said, Smack salad? Yeah. It's the first thing I Is heard. it like the drug smack in a salad, or is it like a smack know, a salad? I didn't know, I had to brush my teeth and shit. I didn't even bother like following up on it. <laughs> that's my baby alarm. That's, that's my changing alarm, sorry.
There's a baby at my house right now. Who said smack salad to you? There's morning? a lot of people crashing at my place this week. <laughs> <laughs> like a lot. Who? Like over 15, but it's a rotating cast of characters. <laughs> Just because people say weird stuff to you doesn't explain why you've kind of lost the plot. Like, it doesn't feel like you know where you're going. You'd today. be confused, too, if people said smack salad to you the second you woke up. I feel like you're setting yourself up for people to say weird things to you by having a rotating cast of 15 plus characters <laughs> crashing at your house in one week. It was a good deal, man. What do you mean a good deal? <laughs> a lot of people couldn't even get more than four. I got 15. <laughs> <laughs> a you know good I mean? deal, though. I got are a you good deal money? on the cast of characters. Are you making money on this? No, what? Well, then what do you mean a good deal? I got 15 of them. How many people <laughs> you have sleep at your house tonight? Zero. Boom. <laughs> I couldn't pass it up. Someone said there's a rotating traveling cast of 15 plus characters coming through town and they need a place to sleep. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be the first one to see it. And I got them. I feel like that's nobody's like shooting for the high score of people staying at their place. That's <laughs> like you're jealous. Just say it, man. I'm not jealous. I mean, you'll never have that many people stay at your place. I hope so. That's way too many. If you want to meet some of the characters, you can come by tonight, but you can't crash. I'm out of room. Seems like somebody doesn't want to break the high score. You got 15, and now you're scared of 16. The high score is 34. My neighbor Mark is it? You can meet him though. Some of them are pretty nice. Some of them are fucked up. It seems like you're kind of letting life just wash over you right now. <laughs> I mean, what is that? Stuff? It's like a wave that's hitting you and you don't know what to do. You're just going to You wouldn't away. either, man, if all this stuff was getting thrown at you. It's not getting thrown at you. You are beckoning it. <laughs> the tide is rising. Technically. I thought that was the, that's the end of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is. Okay. The tide is rising on my life. Whatever. We got to guess this <laughs> emo jam. I already guessed. Okay. Technically. <laughs> Well, if you want to come over and watch freak stuff with me and my dudes later and the other characters, you let me know. And you know what? I don't care if any of the characters are gay or asexual or whatever. It's a rotating cast of characters staying in your house for a couple weeks. Right. Thanks. 15 plus of them. I don't even know if I'm going to meet some of them. I think you will. No, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to meet all of them. You know, there's some of them that I won't meet. And if I don't meet the gay, bi, or asexual ones, that's fine. There's one of them a Barack Obama impersonator. He's pretty bad at it. I don't judge sexuality, but I do not want to meet that person. <laughs> He's a Mexican guy. Yeah. It's bad. <laughs> I don't even know stuff like that exists. <laughs> With a rotating cast of characters, you know, <laughs> you it's, it's like it's a roulette. You know? yeah, I was hoping more for like trapeze artists, jugglers. Right, I was I'm picturing like, yeah. that already. It's not. Oh, yeah, no. It's not. It's just kind of like random people. Yeah. One of them's got one eye. Only one of them? <laughs> <laughs> 15 people, yeah, one eye. You've never seen a group like this, bro. I don't even know why they're together. <laughs> <laughs> Who assembled like they're not, this? like, doing a show. <laughs> like they're not doing, like, an event or, like... Group of misfits. <laughs> <laughs> why do they even need to be in my house? <laughs> Granted, it is a good deal for me. It's but, not, like, why do they need to be there? It's why it's a deal. <laughs> It's a steal. I don't Honestly, get it's so deal, many people. But, yeah. It's three more in a basketball team. I don't know what they're doing, man. I will get to the bottom of it, though. I promise you that. From a musical angle or standpoint, it's an undeniably good album. Can I steal that cassette for a week or two? Yeah, no problem. Sweet. Let one of the guys borrow it right now, but whatever. I don't want to hear about the cast of characters anymore. It's hard to forget about, man. It is hard to forget about. That's <laughs> kind of all I can think about. <laughs> My house is full of people. I want to know, like, the gender breakdown. Right. I want to know. Me too. Actually, I you know what? Doesn't matter, yeah. Doesn't make a difference to me. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> no. Oh, I'm, I won't even pick what I want just to appease you. That's not what these brackets are about. Stand up for what you believe. Well, I do believe Role Model's a better song, but I'm just sad to see it go. So you just do it. It's kind of like, I know you got to put my dog down because he has HIV. Right. I don't want you to. I love the guy. Yeah, and I also feel like it's kind of your dog. You should be putting your dog down. Right. I don't know why you would ask me to do it. Well, you're a better shot than me. True. <laughs> and I guess, you know, I have always talked about, like, wanting to if there was. Yeah. It's kind of like the idea of, like, you know, when you go into a bar, sometimes you hope some guy says something disrespectful to, like, your girlfriend or one of your friends or whatever so that you get the chance to be the hero with the punch. Mm -hmm. You have the justified punch situation. Yeah. I'm kind of waiting for a dog to have HIV. <laughs> To blast its brains out. <laughs> you know? I'm really trying to get into character here, yeah. guys. This is not me. I also, don't want to kill a dog. <laughs> but I do want to be in the new 8 Mile show. And yeah. I feel like this is the stuff they're looking for. Also, don't get it twisted. Dog AIDS is different. Oh, totally. And it's bad. Oh, yeah, it's worse. <laughs> it's way worse. Arguably, but well, there's a big debate going on about is. which one's worse. But Bad Meets Evil versus The Real Slim Shady. Oh. Yeah, he's standing up. I see what he's doing. 